Hello friends, today for math we're going to be using a new tool to help us with subtraction. This is usually something we have in our classroom, but before we get started I'm going to send you on a little scavenger hunt to find something in your house that you can use. I'm going to be using these little chips that look like this, but I would suggest looking for something like coins, you could use markers, you could use pencils, you could use crayons, you could use pieces of paper, something that you can count and make sure that you have 10 of them. So go ahead and pause the video, go find 10 of something that you can easily count, something kind of small that you could put on the table to use, and then when you come back we can get started. All right friends, today we're gonna to be using the object that you found to help us solve some subtraction problems. I'm gonna be using those colorful circles that I showed you. So you're gonna to wanna to put that item right in front of your body on a table where you're watching this. And first I want you just to count and make sure that you have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Excellent. So I'm going to be saying a subtraction problem and then we're going to be using the object that you got to show that problem and to do some counting. So let's go ahead and push them all to the side in a little pile after you've counted them. And we're going to start by solving the subtraction problem 8 minus 5. To do that, 8 minus 5, the thir first thing that I want to do is count out 8 of my objects and so kind of line them up. I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, so I have eight in front of me. I don't need the pile that's on the side. So to do eight minus five, now I want to take five away. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five. Now I'm only going to count what I have left. This is my answer here. One, two, three. So eight minus five equals three. Let's do another problem. So push all of them to the pile on the side. And now let's show the math problem 10 minus 2. So let's count out 10 to start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 minus 2, so we want to take 2 away. One, two. Now we want to count what is left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So ten minus two equals eight. Let's do one more together. Now let's do the math problem five minus three. First we need to count out five. One, two, three, four, five. Five minus three, so I'm gonna take three away. One, two, three. Now I'm going to count what's left over. One, two. So five minus three equals two. Today, for today's activity, you now have a choice of four strategies that you can use. Use the one that makes the most sense to you. You can use your objects just like we did to show the problem. You can use the number line we made yesterday. You can always use your fingers or you can draw a picture. Whatever makes the most 